Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna, after website The Russian Vagabond, all about life in Germany and Austria. And today I want to talk about uh, some German habits and uh, traits which I and other foreigners uh, struggle with and struggle today as well, I think. Uh, as a foreigner uh, living in Germany, in Austria actually, currently uh, in the past in Germany, I had been struggling with some of the German habits, but some of them were quite okay for me. Some of them I also adopted. The first one is a trait, uh, something special about Germans is their uh, directness, how direct they are. Very straightforward people, so um, expect that uh, there will be a lot of uh, misconception, maybe that you will think that they are rude or, or maybe they don't like you because we are very direct and they will tell you everything right away, straightforward, without um, making it sounds good or maybe like polite for you. So um, yeah, for foreigners I think it's very complicated to adapt to this, because if you're from very different culture and very the communication way are made in a very different uh, different ways, so uh, directness of Germans will be something you will struggle with. The next is uh, everything has to be planned ahead, so the habit planning ahead. So therefore there is no spontaneousity or uh, forget how to be spontaneous. Because in Germany people like to plan ahead, meetings and everything. Uh, even if you want to meet with your friends in the bar, we plan it ahead, days and week before. And if you like, just spontaneously go somewhere, you know, just ask uh, Germans, oh, what do you think, uh, should we go tonight somewhere? Or in, the, in an hour, let's meet up in an hour. Or you even come to, come to them in the house and say hello without even announcing, you know, that you're coming and you're just walking um, close by and decided to visit them. Oh my god, this can cause some troubles for you because Germans plan ahead, so spontaneity, it's not common and it can be something you can struggle with, especially I know uh, Russians struggle with this. The next one is a habit or maybe just a way of living is uh, separating the trash and recycling ways. They are a little bit complicated, so as a foreigner you might do a lot of mistakes because there are many different kind of trash and uh, sort of trash which is separated in different bags and stations even sometimes uh, you need to bring it to the station like glass or uh, clothes something like that you are not uh, recycle this at your home like in russia we just recycle everything in one bag everything uh, like even my jeans but in germany not so uh, some foreigners and including me struggle with this to do it right and put each each thing in the right uh, bag because if you do mistakes uh, your neighbors see this and we would uh, come after you or maybe you know uh, the people who pick up trash they see it and they not pick up it because it's wrong the next habit is that people are not jaywalk here uh, we really wait till it green uh, green color in the traffic line and then we cross the street only in the right way oh my god that's i think if people see me here uh, running in the weekend in the morning <laughs> i run in the five morning in the weekend and of course there are no one and i cross roads wherever i want where i want i never wait till it's green and if germans will see it they will freaking out because it's not how i behave and if you're from country where you just get used to cross the road wherever you want, you might have some troubles here and people will look at you like you're crazy or you're, you're just a bad guy. Because it's not how things are done here, so um, you need to adapt and wait till it's green or you will be a bit weird here. The next habit is of course everything is, not everything, but most of the things Germans like to pay in cash. Uh, if you're liking cards, if you're really from a card nation, like I don't know, Netherlands, I saw we pay all the time in the cards and in supermarkets we even don't accept cash. So if you get used to paying a card, visa card and you're in Germany, you maybe 
needs to switch this habit and have all the time some cash with you because it's important and sometimes there are places where a card is not acceptable so you need to have some cash with you and I will suggest all the time have something with you at least like 20 euro that can save you time because sometimes you need to run to the ATM or cash machine pick up the cash if you know so just have some with you next one is i don't know is it habit or just way of living it's the service here it's very different some people think that it's not good because we used to a different kind of service different kind of of course like politeness and people here just uh, leave you alone because uh, germans appreciate their private space private time we don't want to be annoyed all the time by some waiter or the worker in the shop like consultant we just want to do their thing and be on their own and in some countries i know like in india i think we will never leave you alone we will always come after you and we look for you and wait you know watch after you but uh, in germany <laughs> you will kind of left alone and you need then call the waiter for example all the time and sometimes uh, it can take some time Foreigners find it a little bit not right because it's not service for their opinion. But I like when people leave me alone actually. But some might not. Some might really need this assistant all the time. So this can be also a thing to struggle with. The service is different as you probably get used to. Next one is uh, maybe trade. That uh, Germans are quite perfectionistic. So if you have some argument with the Germans or um, they think that you're not right so they will tell you till that point they will argue till that point that the answer or opinion is 100 percent right so we uh, will correct you till it's really right so you can't just say like something in between or you know approximate thing your opinion the thing whatever it's about has to be 100 percent correct right and Germans will fight with it for it and we just wanted this 100% true and correctness just like I don't know that's crazy for me I think it's because we are quite perfectionistic people in this way and in their work and in many other things so that's probably it and we will correct you so let's right we, we think it's right also habit of Germans uh, foreigners can struggle with is starting the day uh, very early quite early so if you are working with germans we will show up for work um, quite early if you are from very different country the least uh, time people start working is like 8 a.m sometimes 9 a.m so you need to of course change your habits and see how you can wake up earlier because some Germans even came at work around like 6.30 so uh, it can be a little bit difficult if you are like foreigner in a German company where a lot of people come really early in the morning and then you come like two hours later it can be a little bit difficult because you need to work with these people you know like maybe you in one team and you need to a lot of uh, work together and do meetings and whatever so maybe you also will need to come really early as we do so this can be a problem as well the next habit is shaking hands you know the people from italy france spain portugal may not understand it if you like to kiss when you meet a person even if it's like a person you don't really know or meet for the first time uh, forget about this because in Germany you're always shaking hands and you might struggle with this because it's like totally different way of greeting but in Germany is everything made with hands everything uh, everybody is greeted with a hand and even if it's official way like formal way or it's like in the private time uh, people you know people you meet uh, you most of the time even if in your private time shake a hand uh, and you only hug people sometimes people who you already know or your friends but uh, you are not kissing here mm -mm. the next habit is punctuality uh, 
as you know probably that's very very common thing about German uh, uh, that foreign just know that they are functional and uh, that's kind of true most of the time so if you are not really functional person you can struggle with this because if you have a meeting with German and you come late even like five minutes you will get the bad look and it's my even like damage your relationship if it's a business relationship mm -mm. it's not a good meeting if you're late even like five ten minutes you need all the time announce if you're uh, late and better not late the habits of germans are opening window all the time that was i i struggle all the time and i don't understand why you need to op open window all the time even in winter I like to open windows for example you're working in an office and people just open window and enjoy fresh air but they don't care it's very cold outside and then it's cold inside and nobody is cold I don't know how we manage this but they really resistant people and so we just work like this but I force all the time to dress myself to wear the winter jacket in the, in the room because the open window and nobody never ask uh, can I open the window or should I open the window we just open window because everybody already agreed so be prepared to freeze in Germany in the winter because of the open windows the next habit of Germans that they don't like to speak about work and job in their free time in the private time for example in the weekends or in the evenings um, they just think it's not necessary and they want to free their mind so if you're a person who really like intense in their work really engaged or have a business and you want to talk all the time about this or in your country it's uh, so common to talk about the work in your free time for example in russia we don't really separate this so much and we can just perfectly normal talk about our work in a weekend but germans really want to separate this because there are really distinctions between free time and work time so we don't want to um, make their brain working <laughs> when we're free i don't understand this because like why like what you want to talk about like is it because it's so interesting i mean that's our really important part of our lives why would not you talk about this but we would prefer us to do some easy simple things you know not not much brain work in the in the rest time so we can use their brain in a working time this might be a struggle because if you like these topics like serious topics really intellectual and uh, related to work or business and you want to talk about this in the weekends and in the evenings and germans will maybe not would prefer to have a conversation with you and rather go away or uh, be quiet because it's not really something we want to talk all the time and I, as i really like to talk about or my studies or my work or my business I, I, it's like all my brain is full with this i can't think about anything else and it's quite hard for me i would say the habit of german of drinking and drinking beer the alcohol consumption here it's quite common it's no surprise that germany is a beer culture and they will drink alcohol everywhere because um, alcohol is not prohibited to drink in official places you know you can drink even beer in a train or in a bus like everywhere basically if you're from really country where alcohol is not a thing like maybe india or some other asian country where you don't drink alcohol and your surrounded people also don't drink alcohol this might real bit bother you because you will see a lot of people drinking and i think for some people this can be a little bit not so pleasant yeah it's also something you need to get used to because it's a beer country there are a lot of countries in europe where alcohol is not really so open so you can't at least drink everywhere like here yeah maybe it's better choice then so this was all habits and traits foreigners have struggled with while living in germany uh, some german habits and tra traits if you're a foreigner in germany leave comment below if you are 
find something else if there is something you're struggling with i'm very interested to hear about it and i hope you like this video and i will see you in the next one but don't forget to subscribe for more videos and to click notification bell